Welcome to another digital premiere of BMW Motorrad in the Philippines, this time featuring the new generation of the iconic BMW R9 T. The BMW R9 T was launched in 2013 to commemorate 90 years of BMW Motorrad. Since then, over 80,000 units have been delivered, with over 700 sold in the Philippines alone, making it a huge success not just globally, but locally as well. This year, we bring you our new R9 T packed with more equipment and exciting technologies while still maintaining its classic lines and of course the iconic air-cooled boxer engine which has been a BMW hallmark since 1923. From the very beginning, the R9T was always developed with personalization in mind and these new models make that even easier. The experience of customizing your R9T begins by choosing from one of the four models we have on offer. The iconic r 90 Classic, the r 90 Pure, the R90 Scrambler, and the R90 Urban GS. We also have a range of factory accessories, a bigger collection of Option 719 milled parts, and the selection of X-Factory Option 719 paintwork to provide limitless combinations that will allow each rider to make his or her R90 truly their own. As an added bonus, all R90s sold in the Philippines will now come with cross-spoke wheels from the factory as standard equipment. Well, I won't go into much details for now. I leave that to my colleagues later in the show. The last 12 months, we have seen a huge number of motorcycle enthusiasts who want to try the open-air enjoyment of two-wheeled motoring. We are therefore happy to welcome more people into the riding community and offer our new generation R90 as a fun, agile, an easy-to-ride heritage motorcycle with a riding experience that can be summed up in one word, cool. I hope you guys will enjoy the show that the BMW Motorrad Philippines team has prepared for you today. As always, stay safe, keep healthy, and always make life a ride. day to ride. Today we are on our way to BMW to check out a bunch of brand new BMW motorcycles. So an exciting day for us but also right now it is time for a change. In my opinion, the best looking motorcycle today is the BMW R9. guys have been living for motorcycles for a while now and I know you're always on the lookout for new and exciting ways to explore deeper into the world of adventure bikes so today we will show you something new something better and something that I'm sure you all want to have we're presenting you the newest lineup of BMW Motorrad's R90 
us today is the director of BMW Motorrad Philippines, Mr. Hill Balderas, to guide us through, through all the details of the bikes. Hi, Good to see you again. Hello. Hi, Jadro. All right, now that everybody's properly introduced and acquainted, why don't we get into the details of this beautiful lineup of BMW Motorrad R90? Here we have four of the R90's newest models in the market. We have the R90 Classic, the R90 Pure, we also have the R90 Scrambler, and lastly, the R90 Urban GS. Thank you very much, Jetro. So while uh, Direk Sid is thinking about the new R90, uh, I'll take you through the, the new uh, R90 Classic lineup. So to start with, uh, with the R90 Classic, we will have four variants in the Philippines. So we have this one here, the Option 719 Night Black Aluminum, or wow. Special. That's nice. So you can so see the pretty. paint scheme here, yeah. black and aluminum. And uh, we have Mineral White, Mineral white and aluminum. And aluminum. There's a white strip in the center here and aluminum tap. And this one here, the aluminum special, also with the fly screen, as we call it. I'm a huge fan of the BMW R90 lineup. And of course, the most obvious change are the graphics and the colorway. The design is very R90. They never changed it. For the untrained eye, you won't really spot the difference in terms of design. And of course, with the model that started it all, the R90 Classic in Black Storm. So I believe you have a 2016 model yes. here. Yes, um, R90, I, right? I have the aluminum one with this, um, very similar tap. to this one. As a 2016 BMW R90 Classic owner, I'm really excited about the add-ons of the new lineup. So I'm excited to ride and experience this. And um, I heard it's a different experience from the first generation. So Hill, I'm curious, what's the difference? Because they really look almost the same, but I'm sure there are a lot of differences. So can you enumerate the differences? Yes, there are new features of the R90 Classic. First off, we have adaptive headlights right here. If you may go in front. So this is uh, angle activated. So as you lean towards a curve, this left side here turns on. And what's, you, what's the angle? A uh, minimum of 25 degrees. Okay. All the R90s now will come with LED headlights, LED signal lights, and, and LED daylights. daylights. Nice. All right. And also new for the R90, actually it's across the lineup, you have this USB interface, charging interface right here. So you can charge your phone and you can also charge the battery if you're not using how your many, bike. How many ports are there's, there? There's just, one, just one. Uh, USB port, Okay, just one. How about the suspension? Is there something different with the suspension? Suspension, something special for the R90 Classic. You get adjustable suspension. So before you have to use a C-spanner. Yeah, this now one you, you just, just have to turn the knob. Turn the knob. Okay, nice. I like it. And also new is the Riding Modes Pro. So not only rain, and road, but you also get uh, dynamic. So dynamic is like the dynamic is like the more more um, the more sporty, more aggressive riding uh, mode. Okay. Riding mode. I see. Also new with the R90 Classic, you get the cruise control right here. So this is something that you did not get with the previous yes, R90. Yes, this, this one will really be very useful when so I go. So you can justify your upgrade yes. now. <laughs> Dial dito. Yeah. So, yeah, that one's yeah, so going to be So, while cruising uh, T Plex or Star yeah. Tall or Skyway, yeah, you can turn this on. Of course, That's maintaining nice. following speed limit. Of course. Of course. <laughs> it looks like someone's going to upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I like the most about the new lineup are the little things, but definitely create a massive change in the rider experience. I love the fact that they added cruise control and that was one of the things that I wish that the older generation had. Especially when you're riding really long straight highways, that really will help a lot for a rider who goes on multi-day rides. And if you're going up to Baguio or Tagaytay, there's this uh, heated grips. Heated grips. Heated grips option for R90 Classic. Very nice. 
Now moving on, we have here the R90 Scrambler. I think this bike's perfect for you, Gaffy. Yeah, I think when you, so too. When you move to La Union <laughs> and... <laughs> I think this is perfect for me too. The Scrambler will come in three variants for the Philippines. We have this granite gray metallic with red seat. And we have the Kalamata over here. Kalamata metallic with brown seat. Wow. So cool. And in transit, as we speak, is a cosmic blue and white special scrambler. So awesome. I have a question. Sure. With all those bells and whistles, yeah. is the weight heavier now compared to the older one? Or actually it's it's not really heavier. It's still in the range of 218 to 220 kilos. Okay, also new, similar with the classic. You have um, LED headlights, LED signal lights, and LED tail lights for the scrambler. And of course, uh, now standard for the Philippines, we will get cross spoke rims Sweet. on all scramblers. <laughs> Previously, we still have the aluminum, that uh, is so... al aluminum rims. So it's still 17 uh, at the back and 19 inch in front. So with cross spoke and uh, uh, semi off-road tires. It's very sexy. My first impression was that it was so hot. Like, aesthetically, it looked really good. The new color variants and the spoked rims, all that stuff's really cool. Can I fire it up? Sure, go ahead. All right. Go, Gaki. Go, Gaki. So, mount the bike. Okay, so also new on the Scrambler is uh, riding modes with rain and road. Oh, rain and road setting. So Hale, there's traction control now because the first generation R90s didn't have traction control. Nope. Yeah, you're right. Um, all the R90s will now get um, uh, DTC or dynamic traction control as well as ABS Pro or the cornering ABS. So that's now standard in all R90 models. Second uh, would be the safety features. Now it has ABS Pro or cornering ABS, and that is a huge addition to this one. I'm super into the upgrades that they've put, the LED lights, the tilty lights, the USB port, things like that, because I'm so into tech when it comes to motorcycles. And the riding modes for me is very important in the traction control. Oh, ride modes. Ride modes are awesome. So all these create a safer ride for a rider like me, and that for me, those are the most important things that I really appreciate that they've added on to the new lineup of the R90. There you have it for the new R90 Classic and the new R90 Scrambler. Thank you very much, Direct Sid, and thank you very much, Gaki of Gaki Moto. And let me now hand you back to Jetro for the R90 Pure and the R90 Urban GS. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Hill. Now let's move to the most affordable lineup of the BMW R90s. This is the R90 Pure. The first time I saw the previous generation BMW R90 was actually in a movie. It was in a Mission Impossible film with Tom Cruise. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I wanted to have that bike. And I wasn't even riding motorcycles yet. And in a way, that kind of got me interested into motorbikes. Now again, with the R90 Pure, we have LED headlights, LED turn signals, and the LED tail lights. Also, it is equipped with the USB charging interface. And also with this one, it's equipped with the cross spoke wheels. Okay. Also, I, I see that you guys uh, moved the, the knob for the, for the suspension. Yes, they move it a little backwards. From the previous one, it's all located on the right side. And when I first tried out the very first BMW R90 that I tried out, I was floored by it. It was fantastic. But, there was room for improvement. There was room for traction control. There was room for ABS. There was room for LED lights. And guess what? In the new version, they answered all of that. So they made a bike that looked perfect and made it even better. When you say the most affordable, can I ask how much it costs? This one is priced at 995,000. Very affordable, you can customize it. You can put anything on it. If you're looking for a cheaper bike, with the BMW lineup for the R90s, this is the one. Now we have three variant colors for yeah. this one. We have the teal blue, uh -huh. we have the mineral gray, and then we have the Black Storm Racing Red Special 719. Can I get on it? Yes, please. <laughs> oh. 
My expectations um, today, when I first heard that we're going to be seeing the BMW, R, the new BMW R90, it was pretty high, to be honest with you. It's the BMW R90. It is, in my opinion, the best looking motorcycle in the world, bar none. And when we entered, <laughs> my expectations were met. It was as high as I thought it was going to be. It is as beautiful as I thought it was going to be. It's absolutely breathtaking. These bikes are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Sergino. Lovely. Last but certainly not the least is the Urban GS. This is now the new uh, 40th edition of the Urban GS R90. What a bike. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> awesome colors as well. Yes. Yeah, I really love like the black and yellow color scheme, the heritage behind it. Yeah. And yeah, with the golden spokes, man, it's like, it's a GS, right? It's a yes. GS. It's actually the heritage that we uh, release since 1980, and it has the bumblebee color. Okay, what's new with the Urban GS is the cylinder head valve cover, which is the option 719. Nice. And then we have the headlights. It's already LED. Also the turn signals and the tail light. And it has the new USB charging interface. Yeah, I saw. It's over here. Awesome. And then we see the gold spoke rims, which is yeah. the only gold spoke rims for the R90 lineup. So beautiful. Previously, I saw you guys from the launch of the Urban yes, GS. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we, how is it? It's awesome. And um, we also got to take a, an Urban GS out on the road. I really love that it sits a little bit higher, especially I'm a tall guy. Yeah. Um, so it just feels a little bit more present on the road, which is awesome. I see. So how about you, uh, Nelly? How was the ride being the pillion of Mike? Oh, um, awesome, but you know, I would prefer to ride myself, so I practiced, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this bike is an eye-catcher. I mean, when we were driving on the road, people were just looking, taking pictures. It's really stunning. I love it. So I was blown away when we saw all the new bike models, the color schemes, the LED headlights. It's just such a stunning bike. I want to have all of them because they all look awesome. <laughs> Give this baby a start. Nice. Awesome. How was it? That is a nice sounding the bike. Boxer sound engine. Yeah. Power. Awesome. Also, with the Urban GS, it's equipped with the riding modes rain, road, and dirt. It's equipped also with the cruise control and the uh, handguards. So cool, it's such a classic looking bike, but it has all these comforts, like the electronics that help you on a long ride. Correct. So cool. Can wait to ride the bike. Oh yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's a classic looking bike uh, with roots to its heritage, but it has all the modern comfort features that you really want in a bike on long trips. Yeah, I think I can agree. Comfort, looks amazing. I mean, what, what else do you want? It's a powerful machine. It's great for the roads here in the Philippines. Which is your favorite? Uh, has to be that is so cute. Yes. It's such a beautiful bike. But in general, I like this. Hey guys! Hey! Hey, Spencer! Got to know the new generation R90s already? Nice. Yes. Yeah, specs are one thing, but these things need to go out on the road. Woo. Let's go! Let's go! Let's do it! Very scrambler vibe. 